Hello all, welcome to Selenium Python training series. In this session, as part of Selenium WebDriver, I am going to practically demonstrate how to handle the calendar type file. So let's get started. In the previous sessions, I've shown you how to automate the calendar type 1, type 2, type 3, and type 4. In this session, I'm going to show you how to automate the calendar type 5. So where is this calendar type 5? Here is the example page URL where we have this calendar type 5. I have to open this uh, URL in the browser. So after opening this application URL, to get that calendar type 5, you have to click inside this fourth date field. You see, when you click here, you will get this calendar type 5. So which looks similar to the previous calendar type that we automated, right? The drop downs. Okay, in the previous session also. Okay, these drop downs were there. But what, how it of this particular calendar type is different from the previous calendar? You see, when you click in the third date, you'll get the previous calendar type that is type four. Okay. Here, the previous month dates and the future month dates are not there. Okay. But in the calendar type five, the previous month dates and next month dates are coming. Right. This is what is the difference. So how does that make sense? I'm going to show you practically in this session. So let's try to automate this. So where I want to select, uh, let's say November 2025. In that, I would like to select 26th date. When I try to select 26th date, guys, there is one problem. Okay, the 26th is from the previous month is also coming and the current month is also coming. How to differentiate? That's the only difference, guys. Okay, from the previous calendar type, this calendar type is kind of different where it's showing you the previous month dates and next month dates along with the current month dates. Okay, in that case, how to select the current month dates is something that we have to see. So let's automate this. We'll copy this URL. Switch to this PyCharm ID where we have some sample Selenium Python code for opening the Chrome browser, maximizing the browser window. And here we are going to open the application URL. After opening the application URL, I have to click inside the this uh, fourth fourth date field for getting the calendar type file. So this uh, ID is there. Copy this ID and uh, go here and write down driver dot find for the in that uh, field. For that input field, uh, on clicking inside the input field, we are getting that calendar, right? First, we have to click inside the input field. So for that, we have to write this by dot ID of that fourth field as an ID. I'll simply have to click inside the fourth field. On clicking that, what will happen? On clicking this fourth field, what will happen? Fourth data uh, date field, this calendar will come. Let me inspect this calendar. I have to, we have to first wait for this calendar to be displayed on the page. As you already know, this is Ajax call happening. So Selenium will not wait for this. If there is a delay in displaying this uh, calendar on the page, right? There's a possibility that exception will come. The script will fail. Rather, let's wait for this calendar to appear on the page after I click on the fourth date field. So for that, I'll inspect this uh, and uh, does it have anything? So this, this is only selecting the header section. I'll go up. You see, this one is uh, selecting the entire calendar. It has an ID, UI date picker, do is there. Copy this and write down here, uh, web driver, Wait, just create an object for the web driver and pass the driver here and simply write down wait. Wait is equal to. And here give some time also, like maximum 10 seconds is more than enough. Wait dot until expected conditions dot visibility of element located inside this provide circular brackets and type by dot ID. For the calendar, there's an ID, right? Uh, just let's wait for this calendar to be displayed. This is a code for waiting for the calendar to get displayed on the page. Once that is done, what I have to do is from this drop down field, I have to select November, inspect this uh, month drop down field. This HTML code, it has a class locator. Copy this class locator and write down here driver dot uh, find element by dot class name. What is the class name? Give the class name here. This is nothing but uh, month, month drop down, drop down. Okay, month drop down is called this one. And now similarly, I want to locate this uh, year drop down. Okay. It also has a class. I'll simply say year drop down field. Okay. Drop down is equal to driver dot find element uh, by dot uh, class name. Give the year drop down. After month and year, what you have to do here is after a month and year. So here, 
uh, I need to select one month, say November in this month drop down, and I have to select the year 2025 in this year drop down. For that, I have to create an object for the select class. And here I need to pass the web element, okay, the drop down field. That's a month drop down field I have to pass. I have to create an object reference, let's say select. All these things I covered in the previous session, anyhow. So what is different is the previous month dates and next month dates are coming in this example. How to handle that we are going to see anyhow. So here I'm going to say select dot select by visible text and uh, I'll just provide number here, NOV, that is number. And similarly, I'll just name this as select a month otherwise, okay? Select month as object of select month dot select by visible text, I'll say. Similarly, I'll say select here. Select year is equal to create a select uh, and pass uh, year, year drop down. And now I'll say select year dot select by visible text. Here I'll provide the visible text that is uh, 2025. Okay, here November will be selected. And here 2025 will be selected. Now I have to select 26, but the problem is 26 day is there here and also is there here. How to handle that? Let's inspect this 26. When you inspect this particular 26, you see it's get, this HTML code is getting highlighted, right? This HTML code is getting highlighted. And you see on the top, we have the TD and it's saying date picker older month is there, okay? So you see, this particular class is specific to this older 26. So, and uh, newer 26, I don't think there is a possibility of getting newer 26, but in some cases, like a uh, one, one is there. If you want to select one, this one is also there. In, inspect that, it will come, you see? Date picker, other month is coming, okay? UI date picker, other month is coming. Here, 26 also, just see. Here also, date picker, other month is coming. Either future date, date, or past date, date, this class is coming. That means, I have to create an XPath expression like this. Control F, double slash TD, okay? Not of, contains, at the rate class, comma, give this value, which should not be there, right? This class value should not be there, provided the square brackets, okay? Now you see how many values are getting located, one out of, okay, now say slash A, one out of 30 are coming, what are they? Just keep pressing enter and you will see that, okay, one, two, three, four, only the active dates are coming, you see? By using this XPath expression, we are only able to locate the active dates in this particular month. This is what we want. Now here, if I, if you want to select a particular date, let's say 26 date, you have to give like this, text is equal to 20. This is all about the XPath expressions. If you are good with the XPath expressions, right? Then you will be able to handle the this kind of calendar very easily, okay? Not of, it should not contain this particular class attribute so that active dates only will get highlighted. Copy this and write down driver dot find element by dot XPath and uh, simply say dot click, that's it, okay? Now just give some time dot sleep so that uh, for demo purpose, demonstration purpose, I'm giving the time dot sleep. Otherwise, uh, script will be very fast and you will not be able to see what's happened on the script, okay? What happened uh, while the script got, is getting executed. Now, just for demo purpose, I'm giving time dot sleep and you will see a particular date, say November 26, 2025 getting selected in the calendar, in this kind of calendar. So run the script. inside the fourth date the page is still loading guys that's the reason selenium is waiting after clicking there's a problem coming let's see what is the problem it's a problem in line 27 what is the problem select off year drop down driver dot find element by dot class name okay so then what is the problem so, looks good only. Let me see. Okay, the problem is very simple. The problem is that uh, let's create this web element after after creating this, you know, after uh, after selecting this month, right? Let's put this web element here. There's the placement issue. There's nothing more than that, okay? So, after you select the number, then create the web element for the year dropdown and then, you know, perform the uh, select 2025 in the year drop down. Okay. Now run the script, it should work fine now.
first it should select month the calendar let the page load selenium will wait until the page loads after that you see november 2025 again there is one more problem coming that is okay fine so this is not happening find element by dot uh expert we gave everything fine right and uh, not off okay i think it should work fine let's see let's run it again November 25, you see, November 20, uh, November 26, 2025 got selected properly, okay? So you should not handle the page while running the script, okay? So this is what, guys, nothing more than that, okay? Only the new thing in this particular uh, session is this particular XPath expression, okay? This is only the new thing. Otherwise, this table type is same as the previous table type. Just this line, you have to make sure that you have written it properly, okay? This XPath expression is very important for this session. So that's all for this session. See you in the next session. Thank you. Bye-bye.